In this video, we're going to remind ourselves how to solve equations by factoring. So the types of equations that you can solve by factoring are quadratic equations. In other words, equations that have an x squared in them. In order to solve an equation by factoring, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that one side equals 0. Okay? So make sure one side equals 0. If not, you would just have to move whatever's here over there using algebra. So for example, if there 8 was over here, you would subtract 8 from both sides. But you always want to make sure that one side's equal to 0. After that, you're going to factor. So hopefully you've had an opportunity to review factoring in another video. If I were to factor this one, this one's going to factor as 3x plus 4 times x minus 2. Let's just do a quick check and make sure that that's fine. Uh, if I check the outside ones, 3x and negative 2, that's negative 6. And positive 4, yeah, negative 6 and positive 4 gives me negative 2. And if I check the last ones, 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. So we're good on our factoring. So step number 2, factor. Make one side 0, factor. And then what you're going to do is you're going to make equations where you take each factor and say it equals 0, and then you solve. So for example, here I have 3x plus 4 is one factor, and x minus 2 is my other factor. So I take the red factor, 3x plus 4, and I write that 3x plus 4 equals 0. Now that's just a simple linear equation that I'm going to solve to get one of my solutions. I'll subtract 4 from both sides, 3x equals negative 4. I'll divide both sides by 3. And so one solution, x is going to be equal to negative 4 thirds. That's the red factor. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the green factor and do the same thing. x minus 2 is equal to 0. This one's slightly easier to solve. I'll just add 2 to both sides. So x is equal to 2. So my solutions to this equation our x is equal to negative 4 thirds, and x is equal to 2. So anytime we have a quadratic equation, it'll always have two answers. It may be one answer that's repeated twice, but there'll always be two factors, two answers. So again, you make sure one side's equal to 0, you factor, and then you set up two smaller equations where each factor equals 0. You solve each of those smaller equations, and you solve the original problem. So here's one for you to try. See if you can solve 2x squared plus 7x plus 3 equals 0. Give that a try. All right, let's check and see how you did. Step one, let's make sure one side is equal to 0. And sure enough, it is. Step number two, we're going to take the side and we're going to factor it. So if we were to factor this, 2x plus 1 times x plus 3. And if we just double check to make sure that was right, the outside is 6x, the inside is 1x, so that's 7x, and 1 times 3 is 3, so the factoring is good. Once we factor, we're going to have two factors, a red factor and a green factor. So what you do with each one of those is you just take each factor and say factor equals 0. So here's the red factor, and I write red factor equals 0. I'll subtract 1 from both sides. That gives me 2x is equal to negative 1. I'll divide both sides by 2, and I'll have an answer x is equal to negative 1 half. For our green factor, x plus 3 is equal to 0. I'll subtract 3 from both sides and x is equal to negative 3. So this equation has two solutions. One answer is negative 1 half, and the other answer is negative 3. And that's how you solve an equation by factoring.